I don't say he's a bad violinist, but conductor. Why, it's ridiculous. The bum never hit 300 in his whole life. Sucker for an inside curve. Well, he's good enough with the classics, but what are they going to do when they get past Brahms? Probably have to put in a pinch hitter. It wouldn't take a woman for the job. Oh, no, of course not. Makes it too tough in the locker room. Very funny. What did you two do for the last before I came along? <laughs> Sorry, I asked. Julie? Yes, Mr. Charlie Reeder, our top talent man, Miss Gillis. Hello. How do you do? This is Miss Cruz, Mr. McCall, Sylvia and Joe. Hello. Two of my friends who have absolutely no talent. <laughs> I'll be seeing you later, Charlie. Goodbye, Eddie. Bye. Bye. Thank Can you. I get you a drink or something? Just coffee, thanks. We have plenty of that. Sugar and cream? Yes, please. I can only stay a few minutes. Well, I just wanted to tell you how impressed we were with your singing this yes, afternoon. Yes, you were lovely. You were wonderful. And I had a word with the producer, Sammy Sayers, and he says it looks as though you're just about set for the part. Oh, good. Thank you. Uh, this is your first, uh, this is your first professional show, isn't it? Yes. Well, aren't you just a little bit excited about breaking through for the first time out? Oh, the theater's all right, but only temporarily. You think you're taking up something else? Well, yes. Marriage, I hope. Oh. Did you have any particular young man in mind? Well, there are any number of young men, but I haven't found mine yet. Well, a pretty young thing like you shouldn't have much trouble. Well, I certainly hope not. I mean, a career is just fine, but it's no substitute for marriage. Don't you think so, Miss Cruz? Miss Gillis, I think so. Passionately, I think so. Honestly, don't you think marriage is just the most important thing in the world? I mean, a woman isn't really a woman at all until she's been married and had children. And why? Because she's fulfilled. Isn't that right? Right. You agree? Of course I do. What red-blooded American boy doesn't? This red-blooded American boy doesn't. Why not? Well, in order to be fulfilled, you have to have a man. And it might be just possible that what fulfills you might not fulfill him. My man, it will. You have his specifications? Well, yes. I know everything except his blood type. Uh, tell us about it. You mean it? Because this is something I could talk about all day. You're on, Miss Gillis. Well, the first thing I want in a man, he's got to love children. How many do you think you'd like? Three. That's the magic number. But not right away. The first two years we're going to live in New York. I mean, we'll be young and we'll want to have lots of fun, and there's no better place to have fun than New York, is there? The children will come later. But not in New York. No, we'll move to the country for that. Oh, probably the first baby will be born in New York. At what hospital? At doctors. Oh, you're kidding me. Never mind him. Tell us some more. We really are interested. Fascinating. <laughs> Look, I know this sounds crazy if you don't know me, but people that know me think it's quite normal. I'm sure they do, Miss Gillis. Now you have a house in the country and the baby, and now what do you do? I have two more babies. I didn't say a thing. Yes? Well, when the kids get out of Scarsdale Public High School, I... Oh, Scarsdale. Well, certainly. Everyone knows they have the best school system in the country. Of course, everybody knows that. Now, Joe. I mean it. Everybody in Indianapolis sends their kids to Scarsdale. 